So I want to talk about child support because probably about a week ago, I made a com- or I, I saw a comment. I think it was a lady. She got mad because of this shirt right here. Like I have plenty of these shirts that I made. I call them my child support shirts. And I mean, people want to know why I don't have children, but I speak so passionately about child support. Now, I'm opening up the comments. Well, I never close the comment section, but here's where I want us to have a debate, a respectful debate. Um, This lady, I she said, I am basically betraying women because men you know, should be held accountable to pay child support. And see, this is where people get my child support movement thing wrong because I'm not saying men shouldn't be held accountable and they shouldn't pay child support. I'm saying the system isn't fair to women or to men and they oftentimes get screwed over by child support. A men come in and let me know, you know, if you, if you know what I'm talking about. And then, you know, it's older videos. I think I put them on private where, I was basically talking about how, you know, the whole situation where my father, um, he had, I believe it was like $55,000 in the bank or something like that. He was saving up for a down payment on a house or something like that. And this was uh, about a year and a half, two years ago, somewhere right now. And he, you know, he has four or five children and he had back child support. Next thing you know, the child support office froze his bank, the attorney general office, took 55 thousand out of his bank and only gave my mom like seven thousand in back child support but the rest of the money was unaccounted for and you know we're just supposed to sit back and not say nothing my dad oh no don't say nothing because he know how i get i won't go down there i won't protest i won't i won't answers you know me He's like, nah, because you make a fuss, they probably gonna do something else dude do you not understand that you had fifty five thousand dollars saved of hard-earned money you don't sell drugs you don't sell your butt okay you worked hard for that and they just go in and scoop it up and call it back child support I, the, the reason why i'm so strong on this is because this man my father will never probably be done paying child support because he's paying on late fees and interest on addition to this and this and that but here's where the women will come in and say well if you had to pay child support when you guys were kids, then this wouldn't have been happening. You're absolutely right. But I feel like a man should be punished for his entire life because he decided to lay down with a woman. Because think about it. I say this all the time. If a man can't take care of his kids, he goes to jail. If a woman can't take care of her kids, she gets a free house. She gets free baby food. She gets free food stamps. She gets free air conditioning, like all of that, electricity. All of that. She gets help. He gets locked up. So it's just, I know we say it's a man's world, but in my opinion, it's really a woman's world. Hey, we are at the studio. Uh-huh. And look, got my child support shirt on. Make sure y'all go pick that up because I don't require y'all to buy anything that I won't buy myself. You know the people that be selling them shirts and it be with them fake models and you know they ain't got them themselves. Look, I got them. Man, I am at TCMJ. Oh, yeah, my website, postbacklinks.com. Holla at your girl. And do y'all know what back is? Not the stuff that takes you to other porn sites. Oh, God, I thought we were talking about back page for a second. I'm sorry. Back page. These hoes really got to work. Yeah. Got no, these work. bitches that infiltrated POF. I erased the shit off my phone every time. Oh, please, 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 that, that, that's and this is real. Right. That's a practical, practical Should he be on child support? It's still his child. He, he shouldn't, but... But she, she... she yeah, we understand the ratchet way that, that she went away right. about doing it, but it, it gets down to the legal wow. aspect of it alone. Yes, it, it, it is messed up. I ag
like when she really trying to get it clean before you spit it out. Well, you and you know when it start burning, <laughs> it start burning. burning you really just swallow. won't want to have bad breath. You said what? You should have hit it in the throat and make sure you swallow. Well, yeah. I mean, yeah, any that's what I do. I just have, have a conversation just, after you swallow. Pass, yeah. Ah, uh, yeah, you ain't done it. Uh, Hold on, but check this out. We're gonna we're gonna talk about Give me some water. Right, right, right. You ain't leaving. Hold on, check this. Check this out though. So so let's let's uh, let's, let's get, get into the, the shirt. Let's get into the shirt. Oh, oh okay. yes. My children are not for sale. So why so am I why making am I pay? pay? And I made Real it for sure. my dad because they took fifty two thousand dollars out of his bank account that he was saving up for a house and only gave my mama seven thousand. Fifty two, yeah, my bad. I thought it was fifty five. Out of the fifty-two thousand, and we still wondering what the rest of the money is. You, that ain't that much back yeah. tax or fees or whatever it's called. No, yeah. no, no, no. So see, I have a video at the Attorney General. Yeah, and see, now I just went through the same thing. I was twenty-three hundred dollars uh, behind on my child support. Oh, I go back, talking about two months later. And these motherfuckers tell me the shit nine thousand dollars, and cannot, oh. and will not tell me. Where that shit came from? Cause see, if after it exceeds five thousand, you can't uh -huh. get a, a a passport. Uh huh. You know what I'm saying? So I was going to get my passport, and that's when I found out I couldn't get my passport. And I'm thinking, what could it be that, that I couldn't get my uh, my uh, passport? And um, it ended up being my child support exceeding nine thousand dollars. Guess what? I can't leave the country. They still pay my mom every week. Every single week. And I'm 25. My brother's 28. And then, you know, Chris, he's dirty. But I'm just like, so you mean to tell me that wasn't enough? He's a regular nigga. Like, we, we had a conversation. He's a regular nigga on a regular job that managed to save $52,000. I said, Mama, you ought to be glad he ain't white. He ain't really Tony Draper. Because you'll be on a slab somewhere. And then I got to. Mm -hmm. He's a white Tony Right. Yeah, I don't know. In uh, Houston. Tell me, Draper. I know Tony. Why you like you look just like my cousin, Carlos? Is that good or bad? It's not bad. Like, hold on, I'm sorry. So, Carlos. Tony Draper, you know. <laughs> no, no, hold I know on. I might get hit in the throat or something. And you know? sound just like it. It's like I'm looking at. Hey, let me show y'all real fast. I know this is irrelevant. But I'm finna show y'all my cousin. And tell me that man don't look like my cousin. Okay, boom, 1,000. He's a videographer for... There's my cousin in the white shirt. Kid CeeLo, okay. All right. Check it, check it, check it, check it, check it. Tell me. He just got through doing a movie with, like, Akon and him filming or doing something. He was on tour with Juicy J. All of them. Okay. Tell me that man don't look like an older version of him. Even talk like him. Even talk like him. So I'm finna go back. I'm finna go back, y'all, and you finna see that man again. <laughs> and I'm gonna let you hear him talk. I'm going in there, boy. Them people are fire the hell up. That's gonna be a good damn That's show up boy. in there. So, should we do the mellow ones tonight? The red vans, the Roy ones, and these Roy ones? I don't know. Those. Uh, my white man's are in the car. I don't know. Which pair should I do? I'm going to tell Ainy. Now, nah, check it. Now, let's go back to that real fast. Don't even look just like him. Don't even look just like him. Don't even lie. Hey, we are at the studio. What the freak where we at? Let's, let's, uh, let's, let's get, get it. I've been managed to save $52,000. He 
you look just like my cousin Carlos. Is that good or bad? It's not bad. Like, hold on, I'm sorry. So Carlos. Tony Draper, you know what? <laughs> no, no, I don't know if I get hit in the throat or something. And you sound just like it's like I'm looking at my cousin in the future, y'all. Talk. That's what I'm talking about. What'd you say? Tony Draper from Squall House. He is. He's the black dude. Oh, he black? They so he white. Man, I'm like, she threw me for a loop. like the white dude. Oh, well, um, I'm related to him, you know what I'm saying? Wow. You gotta, you gotta run with that shit. You they told me I couldn't because he was white. I'm sorry. You didn't need to get a lawyer. Right? You said I need to get a lawyer? Yeah. Like that. Oh, yeah. Okay. My child support. I thought I did some other shit, right? No. <laughs> <laughs> Whatever you do, you might need to, you need to have a lawyer. Oh, yeah. My dad can't go out. He's. Like I said, with FedEx, he can't go out of the country. Right. Like 82,000 that he owes. And I'm just like, look, mama, you take care of basically the rest of your life. You feel any type of. Any type of way. No. We had that conversation. You don't feel no kind of goddamn way. I don't give a I fuck. love my mama, but it's a conflict of interest because I love my dad too. So, of course, she don't support this. Mm-hmm. But I'm like, mama, even when, you know. No, I'm telling you, that's a bitter woman's tool, man. That is a I bitter think, woman's but, tool. But, 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 but you know what, I think sometimes it, it's, it's the parents sit down and, and talk and not the, the extra stuff. You see what I'm saying? Regardless regardless of where people come from. Now, here, here's the thing. Here's the thing. You two can't get along. That's the bottom line. Nine times out of ten, she's mad because she still want to be with you. So this is how she gets back at the man. My thing is, I think my mama, she just mad that he moved on. Right. That, not that she want to be with him. Like right. Let me let me just say this real fast too, because I had people coming in on my other video that I made a long while back. <sighs> They're saying that my my dad had to pay child support because my mom was on some type of aid. My mom has never ever we have never been on no housing, no food stamps, no wig, none of that. My mama was one of them. I can do it by myself. I'm at work. I don't want no handouts. So let's not let's not say that because that's not true. The attorney general is crooked down here. And then she's still yip yapping in the background. Right. You know what I'm saying? So, there is no. So now the child has the child has this this idea and this and this thought about the father, mm-hmm. and they only hear it from one side. And so now when they grow up and you've been quote unquote halfway brainwashed, you mm-hmm. know, on what your father is, and it's really that's not what it is because he's never had the opportunity See, the to whole express time all that. That, that follows behind a woman. You know what I'm saying? That waits for his woman to point him in every direction. Or, and take or the daughter's gonna grow up having daddy issues. Or yeah, or but then yeah. but then there's the thing with the son. The son yeah, either grows up hating being a man. Yeah, you know That's our show. Trump. 
president. Ah, uh, Trump's president. My ah. president is orange, y'all. I told y'all. Yeah, so that's it. Uh, Black woman says stop child support. That is the video um, that I was referring to that goes into the story a little bit more. I know I picked the perfect time to make this video. Um, it's 4.55 in the morning. And um, my voice is just coming back. I had a cold and I don't look the prettiest right now, but this is raw emotion. I'm um, no, straight out of bed, fresh breath, but this is what's on my mind. These child support shirts that I'm making for Vlog Easy is not just a good idea in my opinion, it's necessary. It's important I make these shirts because I really feel like we have a problem. I don't use vlogeasy.com. That's not my website no more. My website is a postbacklinks.com. So, you know, so don't even, it's not there. It, it's not. In our society, not just America, but possibly over the world, around the world. But I'm only speaking for what I know here in Dallas and here in Texas. The Attorney General is robbing people, particularly men, every single day with this child support. I'm doing my research right now on the statistics, but from what I have read on CNN Money, on their website, that in 2011, if I'm not mistaken, 11 or 12, over $100 billion is owed in back child support billion with a B. Now, I'm still doing my research on other statistics, but right now I'm just going to speak from my own personal, you know, my own personal experience with my parents. My dad really didn't pay child support for me and one of my brothers in the 90s. It was off and on, so he racked up a lot of back child support and fees and all of that. Okay, let's get that out the way. Was he a part of our lives? Off and on, yes. Do I know my father? Yes. Do I know him very, 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 very well as if he lived in the house with us? No. My parents were married for seven years, um, and they got to that I think they split up when I was like one, two, and they got an official divorce, divorce when I was like four. So, no, I don't really have a huge, huge, great memory of my father as a little kid. But, of course... Um, you know, I've known my whole life. So, I know my father. I'm not a bastard. <laughs> right. I talk to my dad. I just clear that up almost every day. You know. You know how it is when you, your kids grow up and they don't have to deal with the mom anymore. And then you, they, you have a better, you know, relationship with the child. So, I just want to clear that up. Um, <clears throat> let's get that out the way. Now, fast forward to 2015. In 2015, the Attorney General of Texas decided that they were going to seize my father's bank account and take $57,000 plus dollars from him. 55, 52, 57. Keep those numbers in mind. Notice at first I said they took 55, then I said they, said they took 52. Then they took 57. They were playing around with all these different numbers that they were sending him, but the actual amount, actual amount was 57 at the end from the note or the letter they sent him. From him and his current wife. So it was a combination of both of their money. Now, here's the problem. First of all, I'm going to say it like this. Is back child support. Everybody has said in my mind that they don't feel like I should get any because it's back child support. But the point I try to make is child support. Yes, I'm 24 years old. However, child support. 
seeing that I wasn't born into money, I need the support, right? I didn't get it either back then, and neither did my mom. But I digress. Here's the problem I have with the Attorney General of Texas. If you're going to take the money, forget me. Take me out of the equation. Take it for what you said you were going to take it for. Back child support. They took $57,000 from my father's account and gave my mom $7,000 of the $57,000, according to her. Turns out that was true. She did only get seven thousand. Cause I'm like, if she holding out, we gonna have a problem. Now. <laughs> um, I just talked to my mom on the 29th of March, 2016, which was yesterday, and she told me he still owes eighty thousand dollars, and she said that, and that was it. I said, Mom. Didn't you say he owed about that amount before they took that from him? So you mean to tell me he racked up that much in fees? This is what I don't know because they don't tell you anything. I've asked my father, can you tell me? I don't, I mean, of course I take the money, but it's not for me. I'm fighting for my parents. Either give this money to my mom, like you said you were going to do, or give it back to my father. If Sorry, it's lagging a little bit. I don't know why. Am I talking to my father right now? No. He's extremely livid. This happened around the end of November or early December 2015. <laughs> He's still upset about this, which he should be. However, I'm not talking to him over something totally unrelated to this incident. It's a foolishness. But I had talked to him at any moment if he wanted to speak. I'm not childish and petty like that. But does it take away from what they did to him? No. I'm still going to fight for him and any other man out there that's going through this. I also want to say I commend my father and all you fathers that's listening in that don't, you know, associate your child with child support like you still want to be an act like my dad still want to be active in my life still want to talk to me because some people would get mad and I didn't want to have anything to do with their children because when they see their children they see that debt you see what I'm saying that's why if you notice in my shirt I had a little I had the designer I told him put I want little dollar signs on the heads because that's what it is that's, that's as if your 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 children your is, is an item or something I can't let this go I think either it's some corrupt people at the, you know, child support administration, whoever's over this, pocketing this money, or you've got to have some extremely messed up laws to be able to take that much money from somebody and hardly any of it goes towards what it was for. Like these loans, I don't want to digress too much, but it, it's, it's related. Like these loans, um, my mom said she's been we've been in this house for like eight years, right? She's only paid towards ten thousand towards the house. Because all of that other stuff went to like fees and interest and stuff. Are you kidding me? Let's say there was no predatory lending going on. But let's get back to the topic at hand. I am I am issuing a message to the Attorney General of Texas. I'm putting these shirts out for my website, blogeasy.com, and these child support shirts are going to speak what. The no, they're not available. No, I'm not asking you to buy anything. He's asking for money. No. <laughs> Somebody go say that. No, I'm not asking for money. Everywhere I go, people notice these shirts and they love them. And they want to buy them, but they're not available. You can't buy them. All right? The men, particularly men, I know some women are going through this, but I, I even saw a statistic that showed that 80% of men, I'm trying to go back to my photographic memory, 80%, over 80% of men, they are on some form of informal or formal child support, and only like 50% or something like that. No. 
fifty percent of me are on some sort of form or inform. Women are you abusing the child support system to fund their lives. This is not about the children. This is about the women being upset that the men have moved on. Sometimes they have other women too, or they have other children, and the women want to continue to punish the men over and over and over. And I'm gonna tell you why I feel that way. If it wasn't about, you know, punishing them, then why is my mom still taking child support from my my dad on a weekly basis out of his check, in addition to the lump sum they took? And she's not going to counsel it when she knows that the money that he owes is not going down. For the most part, it's not going down. It's continuing, continuously accumulating interest and late fees. This isn't right. I'm 24. My brother's 27. My other sister is 34. And my other sister is older than that, but she, you know, 35, 36, somewhere around that, 37. She, she never got child support. But me, my brother, and then my other sister, my other brother is not his child, so he didn't get it. But I'm just like, this doesn't make sense to me. This doesn't make sense to me. And I want to as the child say, for the most part, I only saw like 500, a little over $500 of that money to help with my college education. I appreciate that because I'm long overdue to finish my college education and graduate. But this isn't about fighting for this money for me. It's fighting for this money for it to go to where you said it was going to go. Either my mom or like I said, give it back to my father. And this battle is bigger than me. It's for everyone out there dealing with this issue. I don't want to keep repeating the same thing over and over again. But see, as I wrap this video up, here is the laws that I am trying to get changed for the child support issues. First of all, I'm not going to say give the money to the children directly. Because when they're underage, look, who are we kidding ourselves? That money is going to go to the mother. And most of the time, she's negligent with the mother. I mean, with the money. Like I said, she's using this money to fund her life. She's used, it's a lot of um, young ladies my age that are having children and they're using that as a career. They're not working because they know the government is going to pay for that. By helping them. It's funny how when a father can't pay for his children, he goes to jail. But when a mother can't pay for her children, they give her free housing and free food and wick and all of this stuff. Something is wrong. Is it truly a man's world? I don't think so. So Told let's you. not say. Told you I've been saying it. That the money go to the children. But let the women be held accountable for what the money is allocated allocated for i'm sorry they need to keep records and receipts records and receipts they say 17 percent of a person's income goes to each child right we all know it's more than that if my father already had a written agreement that he was following for two plus years to pay child support back child support all that whatever then they should have stuck to that they shouldn't have taken more money from him against his will and frozen his account. So there needs to be, A, they need to stick to the laws that they write, number one. Number two, they need to stick to a written agreement if one is already paying. Number three, if one is already paying, then if they take a, a huge lump sum and give it to the mother, then they shouldn't still be getting weekly payments or monthly payments, whatever it is. And number four, we need to start testing and doing more mandatory DNA tests. And women shouldn't be allowed to make to lie and say a man is a father and put him on 
child support. And then when it comes to find out he's not the father, he still, still shouldn't be uh, required to pay just because his name is on the birth certificate. And these women need to be held accountable if they're lying or if they don't know who the father of their child is. They should have to pay child support or restitution or whatever they call that to the man. And the last law, to me, the most important law, which is this back child support bull crap, they need to get it to the children once they are over the age of 18. They need to have their own card. You know, let's throw another law in there because to me, this is the most important one. Get rid of all these late fees that are similar to loans and interest and all of this foolishness to where they can never, ever, ever pay it off. I think I made my point pretty clear. Five, six laws, six, seven laws that need to be changed, and I'm going to have them written up by a lawyer, and I am going to myself approach the Attorney General of Texas and possibly even file my own lawsuit on behalf of my parents and behalf of my own case. Because this is not right. I'm Tiffany Monique Draper at Tiffany M. Draper, vlogeasy.com, at vlogeasy. And you can find my shirts at vlogeasy.com. No, you can't. Go to Shop and Connect. No, you can't. But if you don't do any of that, please sign my change petition that I'm going to create. Because I will confront the Attorney General of Texas. I want to know what y'all did with that $50,000 that you didn't give my mom. It didn't even go towards, from what I'm seeing, the money that he owes and back child for and late fees and all of that. I'm signing off for now. I had one of my bo my brother's model. <laughs> I mean, you can move your arms. Look masterful. No, but this is a video. I'm stopping at your neck. The photo was, but then I was like, I need to make sure they know that it's real. I'm stopping at your neck. Don't say nothing. But don't stand like that. Just be natural. <laughs> Show us your side. So this is a regular... Don't worry about who the model is. Okay. <clears throat> let's, let's excuse my voice. Okay. This is a regular X-Large t-shirt from the VlogEasy.com child support shirt line. As you can see, this is our first one we are debuting called My Children Are Not For Sale, So Why Am I Making Payments? Mm hmm vlog easy. Um, yeah, as you can see, he's real. This isn't a stock uh, model, you know, bland and, you know, muscle, 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 Boy, muscle, 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 muscle. Okay, but I really want to, as you turn around so you can see, there's nothing on this shirt. I'm thinking about coming out with having the image actually on the back because most people are kind of, they'll read what's on your shirt, but if you turn around, they'll avoid you because they don't want you to see them reading it. So I want people to see this. I really do. But you know what? This is going to spark a lot of, if you can see, child support issues are in more than just the black community. However, we know that it's very prevalent in our community. These are the little children with dollar signs on their head. And here is your traditional, tightly cold haired woman <laughs> <laughs> that may be giving you the issues. So. Go to vlogeasy.com for your... Yada, 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 yada. All right, so to get Vlog Easy, I used to have a website called Vlog Easy. I used to vlog. I, I vlog my life, and I helped other vloggers on, on YouTube and all that good stuff. But please tell me, men and women, I don't want to start a gender war in the comment section, but this is what I want you to do. Tell me, are you for child support or are you against child support and why? You got to tell me why. Also... Ladies, keep in mind, you know I love us ladies. I am a woman. But let's be honest, okay? I ain't talking about that gay les lesbian series, lesbian. No, let's be honest about how you know that the system is geared towards favoritism with women, okay? Let's be honest. Also, if you don't have children, it's like people tell me when I wear this shirt out, 
that they have a brother that may be going through this or their current husband's dealing with an ex-wife with this issues. I want to know everyone's opinion on this, okay? And I'll try to comment or reply to everybody. Thank you for watching my video. This is more of a serious topic because I want to talk about more than just other stuff. I want to talk about our lives, what we are going through. As you can see, I keep it real, even if it's my own family. I'm passionate about stuff. I'm your girl, Tiffany M. Draper. I'm out.